Hello friends, welcome to this week's reading vlog. Today is Wednesday and I have a few packages to unbox and I wanted to do it on camera with you guys because one of them is actually a gift from Katie and she already spoiled that I was going to get a gift but I don't really know what it is. I do have like a suspicion but I thought that it would be fun to open on camera and just share the experience with you guys so let's get on and do that let's start with this a oh, one it's already a bit open I don't know why I knew it it's like you know when someone is your soulmate you kind of know what they're gonna do even before they do it <laughs> Okay, but even knowing, still, oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna scream, okay, Katie got me, <laughs> Katie got me, <laughs> she got me Jimmy, look, oh my god, it's the most adorable thing in the world, listen, precious thing ever I am in love and I'm not in focus my love for Chimmy was too intense <laughs> but I love this so much um, Chimmy is of course Jimin's BT21 character and I love it so much <laughs> oh my god hi <laughs> oh my god this is so adorable and ooh, ooh, the best part Katie's note. Oh my <laughs> I purple you too, B. <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. Like, I'm just, I can see myself just spending hours and hours just staring at this. <laughs> Look at his little tongue. I can't, I can't deal. Look at his little tongue. <laughs> it's so cute. I want to scream, but. I love you, Katie. Um, I think we all know who Katie is by now. I've been talking about her nonstop for like the past 10 vlogs of mine. And it's so insane because we've only known each other a few months. And it's just crazy to think that in such a short amount of time, you can feel like you know someone and you love them so much and you would literally take seven bullets for them. So there we go. Oh my God, every time that I look at Chimmy now, I'm gonna think of Katie. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I'm like, Katie, thank you so much. I love you so much. And I'm gonna cherish this. Like, I can't stop staring at this. I am going to cherish this forever. Mark my words. Please bury me with this, please. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Next, I'm going to open up this one, which I know what it is because of the way that it's packaged. Like, it can only be one thing. Y'all ain't ready for this. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay, they all came like together. Y'all know, you know. <laughs> I love this so <laughs> much. Um as we all know, oh, Chimmy is all the way over there. 12 seconds later. I'm back with Chimmy and Tata. <laughs> like, of course, women soulmates. So, of course, I had to get both of their BT21 plushies so that they could be together forever. And I just love this so much. I'm literally living my best life right now. Then inside of that, I also ordered... <laughs> because I am a crackhead. I ordered um, one of these things that you put, um, why do I not know how to speak anymore? I ordered one of the things that you put behind your phone so that you can like kind of take it out. <gasps> okay, no, I can't fix it. Can you imagine? And I got Tata, 
Of course I got Tata. And they added a photo card of Namjoon. I love this picture though. Like, how had I never seen this? Let's continue. <laughs> These are the Love Yourself photo cards. This is one of my favorite photo shoots that the boys have ever done. And I just really, I really wanted to have them. So I went ahead and got them. <laughs> okay, so we got Suga, J-Hope, J-Hope! <laughs> oh, look at this picture though. <clears throat> I love this picture of Namjoon. <laughs> we got Jungkook, Jin! And of course, my baby, Jimmy. We have one last package to open, and this one, sweetie. Let's see if I can do it. I never do this. Almost. I did it. This never happens. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, it's so stunning. Stop! Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. You need Jesus! Wow. wow. And then, and then. Look. I mean, come on. Isn't this one of the most beautiful books you have ever seen in your life? I didn't really vibe with the first book. I think I gave it three out of five stars. And then I read The Wicked King and oof, I gave it five out of five stars. I would have given it six out of five stars if I could. And it's just so good. It's like one of, oh my God, it's one of the best sequels that I've ever read in my life. So of course, with that ending, I could not wait to get my hands on The Queen of Nothing and it finally came out and I wasn't the biggest fan of the white version of this book, which is like the original cover, but Barnes & Noble came out with this black edition, which is everything. And I don't have the black edition of Wicked King, but I ain't mad because this is so gorgeous. Like I would take it out on a date. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god! College right now is not letting me breathe. It's not letting me be a human being. It's not, it's just not, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I'll have time to read this, but I really want to. Like, you don't know how much I just want to like stop recording right now and just sit for however long I need and finish this in one sitting. I'm just so happy right now. I'm, I'm so happy. So I'm going to go off camera now and enjoy my happiness. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys. definitely find me is just sitting on my laptop on YouTube watching crack videos 
literally like that's all I do with my free time unfortunately but for some reason this week was different um, instead of procrastinating while watching crack videos I read books I know it's such a wild concept like me reading what um, <laughs> somehow I literally don't know how this happened but one, two, three, four, five. I read five books this week. I like, like I say that out loud and it's so ridiculous to me because who reads five books in one week? And literally, it's not one week, it's like five days. So it's like, it's, I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I am mind blown by myself. Um, <laughs> I just literally don't understand how this happened, but I read all of these books in the span of four days. Okay, I keep going down in the days. So today I didn't finish anything, so it was from Monday through Friday. So literally, I read five books <laughs> in less than five days. And I don't know about you guys, but that's not common practice where I'm from. One does not simply read five books in less than five days and I'm just a bit mind blown. Like honestly, I'm not even trying to be dramatic or anything. I'm just really honestly so surprised at myself, at my own power, at my own mind. Like I don't know where it came from but I read so many books and yeah, I'm just, <laughs> it's so wild. Like on it, I can't, I, I'm, I can't even speak but I just look at these books and it's like how did I do this it's like I became someone else and somebody else read these books because how did this happen I don't understand I'm not gonna talk about all five of them because I will be doing the mini reviews at the end I haven't done them in so long so I think it's going to be really fun to do them because now I have lots of books to talk about but I did want to mention three books out of these five books because I loved them so much that I just really want to share them with you guys. I gave three of these books five out of five stars. Well, there's one book that I'm not, that I'm not going to talk about that much because I did just do a live show over an hour about this book, just us gushing about this book so i'm not going to go into full detail but i did give daisy jones and the six a five out of five stars if you guys are interested in my thoughts and jacob's thoughts and caitlin's thoughts and heaven's thoughts then i would definitely recommend that you guys go check out the live show which i believe is the previous video on my channel right now we had so much fun and it was actually the last live show of the TJ read along which is the read along that me, Jacob and Jamie started so long ago it feels like now. I think it was six months ago or seven months ago. I don't know but it was such a wild ride and honestly just sh being able to share this experience with two of my best friends here on booktube and with all the co-hosts that we had along the way it was just so it was so meaningful and it was so special and this was definitely the best way to wrap things up out of all the TJ art books I think this is my favorite I'm not gonna set it in stone just yet because I I'm still a little like you know Evelyn you know it all started with Evelyn so I don't know if I can like disqualify her yet. The two books that I want to mention are Mooncakes written by Wendy Zhu and Suzanne Walker and Orange the Complete Volume 1. These two, okay, this is um, a manga and this is a graphic novel. This was gifted to me by Anna from Slytherin Reader and oh my God, when I tell you that I read this in one sitting and I absolutely freaking adored it. It was so, it was so wholesome and it was so beautiful and it was just everything that I didn't know I needed and it was just so fun to get through. How do I even explain this? Because okay, this has witches, she's a witch obviously by the hat and then she also has this friend who is non-binary and they can turn into a werewolf. Wait, wait, no. They are a werewolf and they can turn into a wolf when the full moon comes up. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all be knowing. Once again, my love for this book makes me incoherent, so I can't really speak, but 
Like I'm really trying my hardest here to talk about how much I love this book, but basically it follows our girl, the witch girl. Do I know her name? I don't think so. Nova. Oh my god, her name is Nova. I'm really bad with names. Like, the fact that I forgot the names doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it or that I didn't leave an impact on me. It just goes to show how bad my memory is. But the point is that it follows this witch girl and their werewolf friend. There's this demonic being that's haunting the forest or the city they live in and they have to work together in order to vanquish it and I, I feel like I just made it sound so boring but I swear to god it's so good <laughs> apart from the illustration style being one of my absolute favorites and also the colors holy crap the colors on this graphic novel Oh my god, like, like they're a whole other story in itself. Like, you know, well, I don't know if you know, but colors tell a story. Like, the colors aren't there just to look pretty. They can also kind of give you a sense of the emotion that the authors or the artists were trying to convey. And they can also make you feel things. Like, of course, red is associated with so many different emotions. It can either be passion or it can be anger or it can be a little bit of both. The point is that color also has a psychology behind it. And I just love the usage of color in this graphic novel. And I feel like such a nerd talking about psychology and the psychology behind color, but I just ah I really love this graphic novel and it's so easy to read through and it's so entertaining and the representation in this is brilliant and it also has some pretty hilarious moments like literally Nova the main character she has an uncle that has a pigeon's head for some reason <laughs> and he's just like there and he's like hoot hoot the other book that I really wanted to talk to you guys about was Orange, the, the Complete Collection 1. And this is a manga that I bought some time ago now, but I hadn't picked up because the size, it, it's intimidating. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm the sort of reader that, depending on the size, can get easily intimidated. It can kind of steer me away from actually reading the book. And I've started this maybe two or three times, but each time I just got so scared because it's so many pages. And I was like, I'm never going to get through this. I'm not good enough for this I know it's weird but one morning I was just like you know what let's read it because this was actually recommended by Chloe over from books with Chloe and I know that she really loves this and our like reading taste can be very similar most of, like 95% of the time if she loves a book I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it as well so I just knew that I had to give this one a chance and I am so happy that I did because Boy, this manga was so good. This follows a group of friends, but it mainly follows this one girl called Nao. Nao? Nao? <laughs> and she gets this letter from her future self, and she's like, you need to stop Kakeru, which is one of her friends, from dying, and you can save him. So it's basically, she's getting these letters from her future self, telling her what to do and what not to do, and she's like, is this real? Do, if I follow this, will I really save him? Is he really going to die? And it just, it keeps on developing in a way that you don't see coming. And it's so engrossing and you're like, you cannot stop reading. Like once you get going, you have to know what's going to happen next. You, you really just, you really aren't gonna wanna put this down because you're gonna be like, okay, I need to know if they save him. I need to know if they're smart enough to follow the order, like, oh, and the angst, oh my God. It just feels so refreshing and it feels so unique as well. So I really recommend that you guys read this. Like, you know me, if you're trying to get into the manga world or if you've read a couple of mangas and you're just looking for a new recommendation, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you pick up Orange. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm actually reading The Queen of Nothing right now. This is the last, the final, the end of the Folk of the Air series written by Holly Black. I think right now I'm going to do a little bit of homework and after I finish my homework, I'm going to read a little bit of Queen of Nothing. Today is gonna be a good day. Like it's already been a good day, but it's going to keep on getting better. So yeah, I hope you guys are also having a wonderful day and if you haven't been having a wonderful day, there's still time to turn it around and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later.
Yunice, keep going.